Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Callie. And I'm Bean. So today we realized earlier this week that so many series are ending this year. So we figured we made a comprehensive list because we both live off lists mm -hmm. in a huge way. So we figured <laughs> we'd make a comprehensive list for you. Mm -hmm. So these are all YA books that are ending this year in 2020. Currently, things can get pushed in and out. Mm -hmm. um, things can also be pushed in. Um, I know I'm still hoping for Ember 4 to come out this year. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I'm a hoping, but we'll see. Fingers crossed for it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and these are not all of the books that are coming out. These are the ones that we have an interest in or ones that we have read or that we own. Yep. So we see a lot of videos for like a sequel or the first one in a new series or something coming out, but I feel like we don't see as many of the last book in a series or the series is completing. So yep. that's what we're going to go through today. So these do include duologies and further. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think the longest series we have is six. All right, so we're actually going to start with January and the first one is the Truly Devious series. Now this is a trilogy. The third one came out in January. This follows a girl named Stevie who is attending a boarding school where she ends up trying to solve a mystery that has been unsolved for quite some time. And it just kind of, I've only read the first book in this series, it just spirals out of control from there. And classmates are dying and people are disappearing and it's a mystery and a murder mystery and it, I enjoyed the first one immensely. <laughs> so the first book in the series, as you can see, is Truly Devious. The second one is The Vanishing Stair. And the third one that came out in January is The Hand on the Wall. The next one we have is also a duology. And this one also came out in January. And it is The Similars, which is part of the Pretenders duology. And while I haven't read this one yet, it follows a girl whose best friend is killed. And then six of her show up the next day at school which seems pretty intriguing, and that's literally all I know about it. <laughs> so, moving into February, um, the first book that I have is the Ash Princess trilogy is ending. So, we have Ash Princess, then we have Lady Smoke, and then our final book is Ember Queen. So, this kind of plays a twist on the lost princess. This princess was not lost. She was in the castle when her kingdom was taken over and her mother murdered, and the king who took over, has kept her in the palace as basically a prize and a way to keep her people in line. And this is a phenomenal story. I've read the first two books. I am so pumped for Ember Queen. Um, it's not even funny. Plus, all these covers are gorgeous, and it's just such a very empowering story with magic, girl power, and it's just, it's so different. Another one coming out in February is The Diviners by Libba Bray. So this is followed by Lair of Dreams and The Devil Between Us. And the final book is King of Crows that comes out in February. This, I don't know a ton about. All I know is it's 1920s and magic. And I was <laughs> sold. I am so excited to get to this. It's a little intimidating because each book is enormous. So, but nonetheless, I've heard nothing but great things about this series. So I'm excited to get to it. Also in February is another duology. And that is the Circle of Shadows duology by Evelyn Skye. The first one, Circle of Shadows, and the second one is Cloak of Night. Now, all I know about this is that ninja school. <laughs> ninja school and an empire of magic and a world of secrets. I'm down. <laughs> and we're going to go see her live, so that's really yeah. exciting too. The next series that is ending, theoretically, she has said it's ending before and then lied, and that is the Shatter Me series by Tahara Ramathi. This book is six books long. It is Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, and finally, in March, we are getting Imagine Me. So... All of them have the beautiful eye cover. You can't miss them in the store. This is a great story about a girl who has the power to kill with just her touch. So she has been trapped in an asylum for over a year with zero human contact and is broken out by the government to be used as a weapon and she does not like that. And, you know, when a girl has the power to kill you by just touching you, you might not want to piss her off. But alas, people don't learn that lesson. 
and thus the Shatter Me series. <laughs> so another one coming out in March is the sequel to The Cerulean, which is The Alcazar by Amy Ewing. So this is a duology. Um, the first one, I actually read this last year. It's about weird blue people who live up in the clouds and one of them falls down onto Earth. Um, <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. It was very weird. Um, and I know it had a lot of controversy around it, but I, don't, I, don't, I was entertained. And that's all I'm really looking for in a book, is to be entertained. And boy, did this entertain me. Those blue people in the sky. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. The cerulean people in the sky. The next one I'm going to talk about is a trilogy. Please. And it starts with My Lady Jane. It is the Lady Janies trilogy. It's got My Lady Jane... My Plain Jane, and then in June, My Calamity Jane comes out. Now, this is a spinoff of famous women in history with the name Jane. And they will be starting a new series, actually, and it will be about Marys. So, that's exciting, too. We're counting these as two separate series. Yeah. Not sure if they actually are, but we're going with it. Yeah. This is, uh, these are all by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. So another book coming out in June is the sequel to We Hunt the Flame by Hapsa Faisal, and that is We Free the Stars. So this is a duology, um, and this is a Middle Eastern fantasy. I read this um, last summer, and it was a very intricate, mystical story set in almost like an Arabian desert. It was almost like a twist on Arabian Nights, but... Jasmine's the thief. It was very cool and very fun. I'm ecstatic to see where this duology goes. The next book that I'm going to talk about is a longer series and it's a bit older, I guess, for when it started. It started back in the early 2000s and that is the Queen's Thief series and it starts with the thief and then goes to the Queen of Atolia, followed by the King of Atolia, followed by a conspiracy of kings, Thick as Thieves, and the one coming out in October is Return of the Thief. Now this is a medieval style book. It, there's a little bit of magic, but I read the first one and really enjoyed it and have been collecting the others since then. <laughs> so this is a short read, but it's really well done and has very unique characters. And another book that is coming out in October is the finale to Fury Born. So this is the Imperium Trilogy. Um, so this is, it, so this includes Furyborn, King's Bane, and the final book is called Lightbringer. So I am very excited for this. I love the Imperium trilogy. I fell in love with it so fast. This is a dual timeline, but it is like no dual timeline you have ever seen before. We follow Riel, and then a thousand years later, we follow Eliana, who... One is the Sun Queen, and one is the Blood Queen. One will bring about peace and happiness to the world and the other will destroy it figure Ooh. it out <laughs> figure out who's who <laughs> all right and the last one that we are going to talk about is a trilogy that was originally a duology and then decided to make it into a trilogy and that is the last magician um the first book being the last magician the second book the devil's thief and the third book is the serpent's curse that one comes out in december now what we know about this one is that it's something like the Diviners Meets Magicians, which sounds intriguing. It is a bit of a hunker of a book, but I'm excited. And this is by Lisa Maxwell. So those are just some of the series that are coming out this year that are ending. There were a couple more. We just haven't gotten into them, nor do we own any of the books. And we wanted to keep this a relatively short list. Mm -hmm. So feel free to check out Goodreads. Um, we'll have a link to our own pages down below. They'll have way more information than we could ever yes. give you. Um, but feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to be reminded whenever we post these videos, feel free to hit the bell icon down below. You can also find our Instagram channels down in the description. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.